Hello, my name is Laurent Butre and today uh, we are going to see how we can integrate SharePoint with Outlook. So go to your SharePoint site and sign in. Uh, if you don't have a SharePoint site, you can uh, use the link in that video to provision a SharePoint. So today the integration with Outlook uh, will allow you to basically stay where you are with your email and collaborate with your team. So here is the uh, collaboration site created on the last video. Uh, you can go to my channel to see uh, the lesson number one. Uh, you have a calendar, you have a task list, uh, you have an issue tracker and uh, you have a document library. So if I go to the document library and uh, then click on library on the top uh, you will have an option that says uh, connect to Outlook. So by doing that uh, it will ask you a permission to uh, contact Outlook application running on your computer and uh, in Outlook it will ask you authorization to actually access the SharePoint. By doing that uh, it will prompt you for your uh, credentials to access the SharePoint. You can tick the box for remember my credentials if you are not uh, on the same domain and uh, at that point once you have authenticated on the SharePoint that SharePoint list uh, with all the documents from that uh, library will display in your Outlook uh, in the email folder. Uh, you can click on uh, the link to actually download uh, the documents uh, if it's not done automatically. So that's for the document library. If you go back to your SharePoint site and uh, go into your task list, you can do the same thing with the tasks. So uh, once you have assigned the task to someone, you can actually follow the um, progress via your Outlook directly. So you allow uh, the SharePoint site to access your Outlook and then you, uh, same thing, allow your Outlook to uh, have access to the SharePoint. So it's synchronized. So each time you send and receive email, it will also check the SharePoint for new tasks or updated tasks. So here, if I create a task within Outlook, uh, and that's the second test I'm doing uh, just for the demo today, uh, once you saved and closed that task, it's going to synchronize with the SharePoint. So here I'm putting uh, subject uh, for the task, uh, you can also assign it to someone if you want. Uh, you put whatever details you want on that task, uh, set a start date and a due date, or whatever settings you want. These will be synchronized uh, with your SharePoint and accessible to the entire team you are collaborating with. So here is my third task, it's my, in my task list. Uh, when I send receive email, it actually goes to the SharePoint. So let's just refresh the page here and we'll see that new task has been created. So it's a great way to actually manage your project, uh, manage your task uh, within the team uh, by staying within your Outlook, within your environment that you know. Uh, you don't need to actually open uh, Internet Explorer and go to the SharePoint once that connection is done. So here for the calendar, same thing. If you go, click on the calendar ribbon uh, menu, uh, click on connect to Outlook, uh, same steps to allow on both sides uh, to access that information. And at that point in Outlook, you will see, uh, this pop up takes a little bit of time to come up, okay, here it is. Uh, so now you connect your calendar, and what it happened is that it puts side by side the two calendars you can actually uh, overlap uh, the two, superimpose them to have an easier read of the different uh, meetings and, and events that you have. When you select, uh, let's say, the calendar, the primary one, which is local on your Outlook, you can create a, an event there. This one will stay within your um, local Outlook mail client, but if you want to create a task, on the SharePoint for everyone on your team to see, uh, you just select that calendar. So here in, in Outlook you have the different elements, so you have the document library, you have the tasks and you have the calendar. Uh, it's a great way to collaborate with teams, uh, share 
vacation planning uh, project um, that uh, your team is working on and uh, manage resources. So great stuff, uh, good efficiency, uh, very easy to set up. If you don't have a SharePoint site, uh, there are ways to uh, get uh, spaces in the internet. Uh, for example, uh, Apps for Rent uh, provides uh, a hosting for about uh, $8 a month. So to provision your SharePoint, if you don't uh, have it, you can follow the affiliate link, link below um, and you will have your space. Thank you. Bye.